Hey guys, it's Tasha and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I am so glad you guys are here. I hope you're having a great day today. I know I am. It's Saturday. It's warm out, which is really weird because it's January and I live in the Midwest of the United States. So it really should be cold here, but it's not. It is raining. Um, so, you know, we can't have everything, but it is what it is. I'll take it over freezing cold weather. Um, so yeah, I um, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, by now, I'm sure you guys have heard about the new stuff pack that's coming out um, in a week, I think, in 10 days. Or is it 10 days? Or is it a week from now? What is it? The 11th? It's in 10 days. Oh my gosh. The new stuff pack, uh, Tiny Living, comes out the 21st. I'm so excited. And, you know, um, as always, I was inspired. I'm always inspired to build or create something when a new pack is coming out because I can't wait for it. Um, so because of this pack, I was inspired to create a tiny house using the resources that we have now. So obviously, when the new pack does come out. I am going to make a new build, um, but I definitely wanted to um, kind of like put my skills to the test um, because I'd never made a tiny home before, like believe it or not. Like it's such a trendy thing to do. I feel like if you're a builder is to make a tiny home and I've never done it before. Um, so, and guys, I don't really consider myself like a builder builder. I feel like I don't build enough. Um, I feel like I'm not as skilled as a lot of other people out there to really call myself a builder. I think I'm good with interior decorating, but the building aspect I've always kind of struggled with. So as you can see, like in the beginning of this video, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I kind of like cut randomly to like the inside of like this build, like when I was building the outside. And that's because I was kind of embarrassed about the roof. Um, so you'll see me kind of fix it later on. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not really... I'm not really proud of how the roof looked at the beginning of this build. I do fix it later, though, so it does look decent now. But in the beginning, it was a hot mess. Um, so that's kind of why, if you guys notice that it, it cut awkwardly, that that's why. So anyway, guys, let's get back to kind of the layout of this build. Um, so my idea for this was that your Sims walk in, and then there's a kitchen on their left, and um, or kitchen area, I should say, on the left, and then living room area on the right. Um, it's all kind of blended together, and then there's a little, like, wall that kind of separates the kitchen and living room area from the bedroom but it's still all one big room as you can see um so like you can literally get up off the bed and go to the fridge and it's like i don't know three feet away something like that so still all really close together but i kind of wanted to block off the bed that way if your sim has guests over it's not like they walk in and see the bed immediately um so my uh idea for this was i wanted it to be modern uh, but also kind of like a rustic vibe um so i kind of took inspiration from like a lot of like the little tiny tiny home like tv shows or like youtube videos that i would watch of like people like you go in and they're doing like a tour of their tiny homes um and so that's kind of what i was inspired by um it's designed definitely for either a single sim or a couple um so i do have the double bed there that's completely functional um both two sims can get to the bed um, from either side so it's not like it's up against the wall where only one sim can get in um so i did design it that way on purpose so that you can have a couple living here um and other than that um i I think, um, I think it turned out well. <laughs> so I hope you guys think the same thing. Um, I do think I'm getting a little bit better with building, um, especially one thing that I've always struggled with is placing clutter. Um, and I think I actually did a pretty decent job of that in this build. So it's not over cluttered. Like I definitely do have some work to do as, as far as placing clutter. Um, one thing that I've always kind of told myself is that I always want the clutter to make sense. I don't want to just put a bunch of stuff everywhere just so that the home is cluttered. Um, I do want it to make sense. So that's kind of what I was going for here. Um, you'll see me kind of like add some stuff in later. Um, but I do think it, it, it flows well and again it's functional that's kind of what I was mainly focusing on is that I wanted the sims to be able to go in and be able to use everything in the house without having to turn move objects on um, so I think I actually succeeded in that because um, I did play test it everything does work they can walk in they can cook um, there's enough room to cook um, they can sit down and eat they can watch TV use the restroom go to bed all that all that good stuff um, Another thing with this build that I did want to focus on was I wanted it to have lots of natural light. So you see those tall windows in the two corners of the house there um, and the see-through doors. Um, that door is from Islands Living. It's one of my favorite doors. Uh, the sliding door in the back is what I'm talking about. I love that door so much. I think I use it in like all of my builds now. It's just, it's so pretty. Um, and then I do have a lot of stuff from Spa Day that you'll see here in a minute. So kind of Spa Day, Island Living, and then the... Um, 
what is it, the outdoor retreat? Yeah, the outdoor retreat pack. Um, there's a lot of stuff from those packs. Um, but yeah, just a lot of natural lights, um, a lot of windows, um, because I feel like they open up um, the space so that it doesn't feel like such a tiny little space. Um, and because it's set in such a pretty area. Um, so if you guys download this from the gallery, um, you'll see that it's set in Granite Falls. It doesn't mean you have to place it in Granite Falls because if you do um, it'll be a rental you know it won't be a home that your sims can live in um, but I just I envisioned this home being in like a very woodsy kind of rural area because um, I feel like with tiny homes it's more about like the location that they're in and less about the home itself um, you see a lot of them in like the woods or just really really nice areas that maybe you know most people may not be able to live in um, or afford, um, but a tiny house allows people to do that um, because you can pretty much pick up a tiny house and move it wherever you want, which is one of the cool things about having a tiny home. Um, so that's kind of what I was going for. So, you know, you can place this wherever you want, uh, whatever neighborhood you want. Um, another thing to note is that um, when you download this, it'll say it's 20 by 30 and you can definitely fit this in a 20 by 15. Like, absolutely. Um, it's only 20 by 30 because um, since it's set in Granite Falls, they only have 20 by 30 lots so um that's that's why <laughs> but yeah definitely can place this in a 20 by 15 um absolutely um so i'm kind of finishing up the living room here um i changed out if you guys saw that in the beginning it was like that corner sofa um and i changed that out because i thought it looked kind of awkward um and then i shortened the wall there um so there is a little bit more space and it's not as closed off and i think it looks a lot better that way um, I did try to add some clutter here as well. Um, there is actually a lot to do in the living room, so it's not just a TV. So I have that um, video game console there and then the Lindsay speaker as well. Um, so your Sims will not get bored when they're in here. They have that beautiful view next to them. They have the TV, which is actually pretty big for the space. It's big wall-mounted TV. Um, they have some books, and they have um, the speaker and the... Um, video game console there so yeah they shouldn't get bored here um especially because i did include some outdoor activities as well so there's a fire pit there's a grill that they can use um big outdoor space that they can play in um so yeah definitely lots lots for them to do um there is a dresser um in front of the bed there um so they can change there's a mirror um yeah there's a lot for them to do in this house um despite how tiny it is um like i said they should be able to cook um meals i'm going to add a dishwasher um i don't know if i end up adding that after this recording or not but there is a dishwasher so they can wash dishes um there's enough counter space for them to prepare meals um and uh there was one thing that i did think about doing if you guys saw that in the beginning is i did want to um use the mini fridge from university um instead of the big fridge but then i realized i don't think you can cook meals like actual meals with the mini fridge it's just like ramen noodles and stuff um so i ended up just going back to the big fridge but i thought it, it would look really cool if that was the case but you know, I just, I ended up going with a big fridge because I, I want your Sims to be able to cook actual meals instead of ramen noodles. So um, that's that's why I decided on the big fridge instead. Um, but I, I know that with the new pack coming out, we're probably going to get all sorts of different appliances and kitchen items. And I'm so excited, you guys. Like, ah, uh, I cannot wait. Like, this is the first time I've been, like, this excited for a stuff pack. So I, I just, I can't wait, you guys. I, I can't. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to put on some music for you guys, and you'll have screenshots at the end. Um, I do hope you guys will download this. Um, my gallery ID is Suburban Simmer with two R's. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you liked this build. I have plenty more. And I will see you guys later. Bye.